What is happening guys? Welcome back. We are about to take on the Ice Gym and I think our team is looking pretty ready for this. How you feeling, troll? Ooh, she angry. Yeah, let out a roar. Love to see that. Um, also, so we actually still have the Lucky Egg on troll. And I'm kind of thinking, uh, at level 63 we're probably good on experience. So we'll take that from you and then we're actually going to give you something that'll help out a little bit with damage. I think we probably have something in here for you. I know that we actually have... Uh, yeah, this thing, the muscle band. So this actually is a headband that slightly boosts the power of physical moves. And I feel like that could be useful. I mean, we have all, obviously, physical moves. So we'll give that to you. Maybe get a little bit of extra damage. Also, let's actually lead off with Ranja. Uh, Ranja and Troll are kind of going to be the most helpful in this gym, I feel like. And Ranja's only 61. So that is probably fine. What is happening, guy? Yo, champ in the making. Entering the next gym, huh? You sure know? Uh... You're only allowed to battle the leader with a maximum of the same amount of Pokemon. If you have more in your party, you have to choose them before. So, the leader of this gym, Alice, is an ice-cold, ice-type Pokemon trainer. Fire and fighting type could be really helpful in this battle. She's using four Pokemon for her battle, so you can choose up to four as well. The gym here is like a ski run. You have to use the lift to go up to the top, then you have to slide down, but be careful, not all the slides lead you to Alice. Interesting. And he also gives us an ice heal. Thank you, sir. Alright, so before we hop in, this is actually a sponsored video, so check this out. This video is sponsored by the Amino app. So Amino is a really cool community app that uh, features a whole bunch of different topics. They have a really cool Pokemon community, and they actually just introduced a new feature called Stories, uh, which are essentially just short videos that actually stay around forever. And I am actually creating some exclusive stories uh, on my profile if you go ahead and search up my name in the Users tab. You will find my profile and you can check out the two stories that I've uploaded so far that feature uh, some Pokemon Go top fives. So I do plan on making some really cool uh, stories on this app. So go ahead and give me a follow and let me know what you think. All right, time to get down to business and uh, let's go sliding. So looking pretty cold in here. So that's the gym leader. We have Alice right there or Al Ice because she's the ice type person, which is, you know, clever. So. We do have to take this ski lift, which is actually kind of sweet. I like the de design of this place. This is kind of cool. So we're going to head all the way up. This is a pretty large place, huh? Well then, let's do some exploring. I wish they gave us like a snowboard or some skis. That seems like that would be fun. So we can go just down right here. I guess that's kind of the only way to do it. Let's uh, see what you are doing, buddy. You think you can handle ice cold air? You know, at the time of recording this, it is summer and it is hot as balls, so I feel like I could handle some ice cold air right now, that would actually be really nice. I do have my fan on as I'm recording this, and this is a fucking Rhinotic, we have not seen this before, but... Yeah, like I said, it, it is hot as balls in my room, and I could go for some of this ice cold air, but we'll give you a flamethrower. And that is definitely gonna kill you, so... Level 54, not really all that scary. Next is a Gigloo. Okay, we've seen two Igloo Pokemon, but I don't know what the hell a Gigaloo is. Alright, looking pretty much about the same as like the other evolutions of it, but just got some legs now. Is that what it is? Alright. And these things have fucking Rock Slide, which absolutely destroys Ranja. And I need to be careful of that. Let's go ahead and switch into Troll. Are these things part rock? What, like, what, what's up with that? You don't look rock at all. You, have, you look like you have no rock abilities, but that's fine. Rock Slide does not hurt Troll much, and now we can just go ahead and give you a Brick Break. I really gotta be, gotta be aware of that in case the Gym Leader is working with a Gigaloo. Well, why are you, why are you called Gigaloo? I have so many questions, but down you go, we get a bunch of experience. Unfortunately, you can, I sure can. So we can go head down that way, uh, I'm gonna heal up first. Also, I think I'd probably need some more items, to be honest. We have eight supers, we have, uh... Nine hyper potions. I think I also have like yeah five full restores And I think I have some max potions in here as well. Let's just go for a hyper on young Ranja Should be good to continue so Let's head down this way. We should probably battle all the people we can to be honest. That's my track noob. This guy this guy called me a noob Doing a sweet nose grab though Hans over here has three Pokemon. He's got a ton drill We do actually have the pre-evolution of this thing. This thing is pretty damn cool. Young Tundrill, we're gonna give you a flamethrower. I don't want to use too many flamethrowers because I kind of want to conserve them for the gym, but I think we'll probably be alright. Only has four Pokemon. Alright, we do get to 62 now. Groot also level 47. When the hell does this thing evolve? I have not looked anything up. Ooh, a Pinglade. 
Uh, we don't want to stay in on a ping glade with Ronja because that thing is part water type because obviously we have one. So let's just go right into the troll. And we're going to need to karate chop it. But It is weird seeing other people with a ping glade. I never even noticed what this thing looks like from the other direction. But Aqua Jet. Okay. After the Intimidate, going to do nothing. Intimidate comes in handy quite a bit. And now we can just absolutely ogre smash that ass like we Shrek. And next is an Aurora. So that's the um That's the little that's the little mouse damn thing, isn't it? These things are scary. We had one sketchy encounter with these things, and I'm just scarred ever since. But we know that flamethrower will probably just knock you out. We're ten levels higher, so I would be very surprised. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Ranja is an absolute cannon, and you do not want to take special attacks from this thing. Alright. So now we can go this way, and uh, it looks like this leads to another lift, although this just goes right back up to the top, so I went the wrong damn way. But that's fine. Everything is fine. We're just going to take a nice another little scenic ride and uh, do some more sliding. If I was in the Pokemon world, I would totally want to work in this gym. you just be snowboarding around all day, so I guess now we got to go right. And we'll see what's popping over this way. Hello, Skier. Just going to go ahead and get in your track. Out of my way. Man, these people are dicks. Skiers are always assholes, though. Let me tell you. Rita over here has a Puff Peak. Well, guess what, Mr. Puff Peak? You're going to catch this flamethrower. That is right. So, one hit KOs all around. That is fine. Next is a Blizzy Bat. Young Blizzard Bat. Have we seen? I don't think we've seen a Blizzard Blizzy Bat. These things are actually pretty cool looking. Quite an interesting design you got there, Mr. Bat. Well, down you go, and I uh, wonder how many trainers there are in this place. Yeah, that's right. You get out of my way, motherfucker. Uh, we'll go down to the right again, and then uh, looks like we got to another trainer. Fear my ice-cold Pokemon. Could you lend one over right now? I could really... I would love to take, like, a damn ice beam right now. All right. Avaldir. We know that flamethrowers probably just gonna do the trick for you. I don't really know what these things even do. I have the pre-evolution of it. It's actually shiny, but I just haven't really have not invested the time to see what those things are working with. Okay, next is a Sealberg. I think we do want to switch on Sealbergs. Uh, we should probably go into Troll for that. And actually, these are the things with the weird ass like bumps on their nose. I know the pre-evolution does at least. Yeah, we've seen this too. Uh, but it's actually a real seal. Like I've seen somebody on Twitter sent me a picture of like a certain type of seal that has those weird growth looking things on their nose and I was like what so needless to say that shit weird critical hit with that ice beam ouch but one more brick break will do the trick probably just should have used like beat up or something to conserve some PP but I do have a lot of like elixirs so we're fine totally fine Groot's trying to learn ingrain uh, how about not we're gonna stop learning that and you've been defeated no fear we get four thousand bucks hey that boy is finally evolving. All right, let's see what this thing turns into. What? It just turns into like a sphere? What is this? Groot, what? Hello? What is that thing? We turned from a little sweet baby dragon into a fucking onion? What? What is this? Dragoon, huh? And he really wants to learn ingrain because he wants to learn it again. We're going to go ahead and give you a... Wow, he like really wants you to have that. We're not going to learn ingrain, though, damn it. We're going to give up on that. But this thing has to be a middle evolution. It's got to be. It's got to evolve again. If it doesn't just turn into a... Like, really? I guess it's kind of cool. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, at least, at least it's good news that it evolved. I think I go left now, maybe? Okay, this is definitely how we get past that one area. So, what's up, Mr. Skier? Just one trainer between you and Alice. All right. Let's get it then. Skier Fritz has an Arctic hair. Every time I read that name, I see the CH. I want to say Arctic hair, but it, yeah, it's definitely Arctic hair. All right, Flamethrower knocks yo ass out. Young Tricks Bunny looking ass. We're almost level 63, which is great. Next is a Sass Crutch Crush. For some reason, I feel like I should go into Troll for that. We're gonna get. We're gonna go into Troll. No, actually, no. We're at half health. All right, I forgot to heal that thing up. I felt like Intimidate would have been helpful here, because Sass Crutch, Crush is trying to fucking crush me, and that's scary. So we'll give you a Flamethrower. Probably actually just knock your ass out. Do kind of look like you have thick fat, though. This thing is 
This boy's been bulking. He's got that winter body in full effect. We do a growth of 63 and a Carbonitro, uh, which is the... We're going to stay in here? It's that weird frog thing. Yes, it is. Angry boy. Uh, let's use another flamethrower. We're only, only going to have five left, which I really should probably... Yeah, because... I have a feeling we're going to need them. Yeah, we're going to get screeched. I feel like that thing is definitely a Pokemon that would learn Screech. It seems like you can just make some noise, buddy. Alright, Shadow Ball finishes it off. And we have defeated you. Move on. Okay, cool. So, this next slide, it looks like it takes us to the gym leader. So, let's make sure we're nice and prepared here. I do actually have some... Yeah, so I have supers. We also have a, lem a couple lemonades. Let's use that. Use a lemonade on troll. And, uh... How about a super potion as well? Alright. So we're in fighting shape here. I do actually think that I should use... I have an elixir. Yeah, you know what? We'll just use an elixir. Give that to Ranja. And we're looking good to go. I do know that we don't have to actually set our lead. We can just kind of set it when we talk to this lady. I probably just want to leave off with Ranja anyway. But what's happening, young allies? Welcome to Subhill City Gym. Wait, you're that trainer that helped me in Frost Hill Forest. Ha ha, I should have known. Yep, that's your boy. Well, as you know, my name is Alice. I'm the gym leader here. I specialize in ice-type Pokemon that can be fragile or they can be sturdy. Can be sturdy and strong. Not, not sturdy. You don't, don't want to confuse the two. <laughs> There's all, so many misspellings. Each battle is a new experience, so let's make this one to never forget. All right. So, we can choose four Pokemon, which is kind of tough because we really only have, like, two or three that's really useful. We're going to lead off with the Ranja. Obviously, bring in Troll. We're gonna bring Happy, and we're not bringing Groot. Obviously, Scrimp is kind of useless at 45, and Dracula is the only other option. So we're bringing Dracula. Not really gonna end up using our Flying type too much here, but let's just go ahead and go with these and hope that I can get out of this with uh, killing stuff. So this is Alice, and I wonder what she's gonna have for me. So she leads off with a Snow Wrong. Hey, that's not bad at all. Only level 55. Um, we should have actually maybe led with Troll, because that would have been better for this. But I think we could still just flamethrow your ass and kill you. Because, I mean, Troll's been killing Snow Wrongs ever since he was a baby, but... We'll just go for the flamethrower here. Outspeed that ass, and you get melted. That is right, buddy. So, that was nice and easy. Only level 55. And, of course, there's Hail, which is quite annoying. What do you got next? Next is a Husk Old. And, uh... I guess we could just stay in here. Husk Gold isn't that isn't that bad. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's only level 55, so we got quite a few levels on you, and you're frail as hell. So it is actually faster. Oh shit! It gets a sucker punch off. Oh Jesus! No, 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 no! My fucking god! What? We just lived a crit with one HP. Are you serious? Oh no! But the hail's gonna kill me. No. <laughs> I thought there was a chance. Dude, I didn't even know Huskold got Sucker Punch, but Ranja is now dead. And, th dude, that was. The stars aligned for me to be able to live that, and are you serious? The fucking hail kills me. Dude. That is brutal. The crit. I am really getting low on. <laughs> On decent Pokemon here, that is not good. Well, we're gonna go into Troll, because now we got a Crystal Wing. Oh, Jesus, this thing looks crazy. Alright, we get the Intimidate, and you're probably a Bug Ice type? That, okay, um, not actually sure. This thing looks insane. We're gonna give you a Brick Break anyway. It's gonna Squall Blow, which we have seen before. And, uh, see how you like a Brick Break, buddy. It does do about half, which is nice. We can take another attack. I am absolutely defeated seeing Ranja go down like that. That was not meant to be. The one HP live. Dude. Well, man, we took a lot of damage there, too. Okay, so we have two left. Polar Pow. I have no idea what the hell a Polar Pow is. We should probably go into Happy, I think. And... I mean, as long as it's not a... What the hell is a Polar Pow? We're gonna go into... Ha we have to go into Happy, I think. Then we'll be able to heal up Troll. And hopefully we can be able to do it with that. Okay, Polar Pow. Oh, Jesus. Wait, is this the last Mon? This is this is the last Mon, isn't it? 
My mind's all messed up because Ronja freaking died. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna, um, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to give a hyper potion to our buddy Troll. And this thing looks like a damn bear tick, doesn't it? It's gonna punishment. This thing's level 58, and Jesus, okay, that did a lot. It was a crit, though. The hail stops. Of course, now the hail stops, huh? I think I should go into troll to probably just intimidate this thing. It seems like Happy probably wouldn't be able to do too much to it anyway, so we'll get that nice and clean intimidate. And now it's in a submission again, which should be fine. Now you better take some brick breaks, buddy. See how you like this. More submission, so it doesn't seem like it has too much for us, huh? Damage by the recoil, which is perfect. Brick break that ass right in the furry penis, and uh, two of these is gonna do the trick. Now it's gonna, oh, it's gonna set up that hail again, huh? That seems like that was a poor idea, cause now you dead. That is for Ranja. Your husk old, dude. Wow, damn it. Of course it outsped me too. If, I, if it wasn't faster than me, I would've been fine. We would've been able to get through this gym leader without losing anybody, and I would've been extremely happy, but of course. Well, it looks like you won that battle. You were a great opponent. As proof of your victory, you have earned this. And we got ourselves the Polar Badge, but at what cost? I lost my cool-ass Firemon, and I'm just honestly so sad. And this is for you, too. Get ourselves TM-107 for Frost Claw. So, interesting. Physical Ice-type move. Good luck on the rest of your journey, Hayden. You only have one badge to go until you can enter the Pokemon League. I'm sure you can do it. All right, cool. Let's actually take a look at Frost Claw. Maybe that's good for... Uh, young Happy. Uh, so Frost Claw. Two turn attack. Gathers cold air around its claws, then slashes the opponent. Okay, we don't fuck with two turn attacks. Also, do I have, um... What was it? Do I have Return? I think... I thought I had a Return. Because I believe I saw some comments of you guys saying to teach Return to Happy and be able to get... It just does more damage because it turns it into an ice move. I don't have return. Where the hell do you? Where do you get the TM for return? I should probably do that at some point because I think it is actually better than Ice School Crash. Also, I feel like I might have just scrolled right past it because this should be hurting my eyes. What the hell? Okay, I don't think I. I don't think I have anything honestly even worth teaching. But let's get the hell out of here, and we have ourselves a burial to attend to, which is shitty. Oh, of course Rodney is just sitting here waiting for me. Oh, it's you, Hayden. So, you won the Polar Badge too? That's great. Now we just have to beat Wade and we're in the Pokemon League. That's right. Professor Pinewood called me while we were having your gym battle. He needs us to get back to Sario Town as soon as we can. Uh, we can leave together before I will heal your Pokemon. They had a hard battle. They sure did, buddy. They sure did. He's going to revive Ronja from the dead, but Ronja cannot be revived. Are you ready? Uh, let's go ahead and say no. So we can just run to the Pokemon Center here. It's only right that we bury you in this... Subhale Pokemon Center because uh, that's where you died, Ronja. Actually, should I take the item from you? What do you even have? Uh, Ronja does not have an item. All right. Well, this is going to be the point where my team is looking pretty bad. To be honest, we don't have a whole lot that is going to kind of carry us here. I mean, <sighs> I'm so sorry, buddy. I've killed so many cool Pokemon. I'm a sad panda. All right. We can bring somebody new. Don't want to bring an ice type. It would be nice to have another fire or even like an electric. But I just don't know what to bring. I don't believe. So. I, I do actually have Jeffrey, which is kind of cool. He's a fire type. You know, we'll bring Jeffrey with us because I don't know if I'm ever going to end up training this thing up. But we have three decent Pokemon now, lads. We are down to three. I guess. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess freaking. I guess Groot is kind of close at level 48. Once it gets to like 55, 60, it'll be alright. But that is just going to take fucking forever. Also, I don't know if that thing's even good. I have no I have no idea about that mod. But it's fine. Everything is fine. That sucker punch just absolutely sucker punched me. And we are going to talk to you. So, my bud sword takes us back to Sario Town. Alright. So, back to... Ooh, shit is going down out here. So, we are here. I wonder what the professor... Oh, oh, it's happening. Something's going down. Looks like we made it just in time, huh? What's going on here? Rodney Hayden, help us. Commanders, they have arrived. About time. We've been waiting for you. Gur, Hayden, how can we fight them all? There's too many of them, but wait. Why are they working together? Yeah, what the hell's happening? Neither teams have that full set of stones, so neither team can realize their goal. 
So just this last time we're working together, only to release the red legendary Pokemon of their prison. Then we will let them fight, and it will prove who is the strongest team. Interesting. Both teams have two stones and you there. You have the core stone and we need it, so hand it over. Oh man. Am I about to get into some scary boss battle shenanigans? We can't do this. If they release legendary Pokemon, they'll wreak havoc on the region, and there'll be so much destruction. How about this? If you hand over the core stone and you press a professor, you press professor, precious professor Jesus, and your little friend won't get hurt. We'll be okay. Don't get, give it to him. I sure won't. I'm stubborn. So please, hand over the core stone so we can get this underway. Hayden, I, I don't think we have a choice. If we don't, the professor and Kyra, Kira will get hurt, but if we do... What shall we do? Oh man, you really don't have a choice. Now, place the stones in the pillars and get the gate will open. Should we just do it, dude? Fuck it. I kinda hope we just do it. The Vault Stone. We're so close. The Wind Stone. Just two more to go. And there we have the Sea Stone. It's time for the last, boy, and I have it. Walk up to the last pillar, Hayden. You've already made your decision. Oh, dude, I really actually have to do it. Make me go around. And, uh, something's about to get crazy here. Now with the power of the elemental stones, the gate will open. Oh, is opening. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, they're here. What, what, uh, what's happened? I kind of thought they were flying, but I guess they're just standing there. With the power of the moon crystal, Lunaro, you're under my control. And the power of the sun crystal, Solaran, you will obey my order. Lunaro, fight with Solaran. Prove you're the strongest. Prove that Team Lunar are the superior team. Um, oh, oh, oh. They're kissing. Now kiss. Enter the the Mike Tyson meme. And now kiff. What's happening? What's going on, Professor? Their fighting is disrupting the day cycle of the world. Solaran's power over light and Lenara's power over darkness are clashing with each other. Uh, they match in strength and power. This battle will not have a winner. Everyone will lose. Both teams. Both Pokemon. Oh, man. We cannot let that happen. Should I just bust a Master Ball out and catch these damn things? What's going on here? Yeah, you were too late, Rex. We fight. We stop them. If we don't, the region will be destroyed, and after that, the whole world. We cannot let that happen. We sure can. I have the balance crystal. This will help us. The crystal can be used uh, to summon a legendary Pokemon called Celance. Research leads us to find that this Pokemon has the power to soothe, to calm anything. If we summon it, uh, it can help us. It can stop them from fighting each other. Interesting. Ooh, okay. But there's just all sorts of legendary stuff going on. Celance, please hear me. We need your help. We need your power. Without you, the region will be destroyed. Please, help us. Is that Celance? Yeah, he, he just said that, man. Oh, it is going down. It's like Kyogre and Groudon or Equaza up in here. Doesn't look like it is. What's going on? The crystals. The sun and moon crystal are controlling them. They have no free will. We need to get those crystals away from the team leaders. We sure do. Grab them and run. Let's get the crystals. Hey, don't even think about it. You can't do anything to stop us. Hayden, we'll hold them back. You get the crystals. Uh, okay. I'll make sure the balance crystal is safe. Get the other two crystals. All right. I'll, uh... How do I... Hello? How do I grab them? The fuck's going on here? What am I supposed... What am I supposed to do? Um... I guess, uh... I'm supposed to talk to you. Okay, yeah, that, that was obvious. That was obviously what I was supposed to do. I didn't even realize. Thought I could just grab the damn crystals, man. Why do I have to do everything? Well, we get to battle Derek now, which is fun. Hello, sir. He has five Pokemon, which is freaking scary. You have a Swamp Peep. Oh, Jesus. So, level 55. Let's let's hope that Dracula can do some stuff here. We're going to give you an Acrobatics. And, uh... Doesn't quite knock it out. Now it's going to hit us with an Ingrain. Ooh, okay. That's a, that's a freaking threat there. Not it's gonna get a little bit of health back though, so weird, uh, weird grass muck. That's totally fine. Down you go, friend. And uh, next is a trollger. All right. Um, you know, I guess we could just use our own for this. We're gonna we're gonna go into our own troll. How about that? It seems like a pretty fitting thing for. These people to have. Just ugly ass troll. Okay, level 57. Uh, we're gonna intimidate each other, which is kind of annoying, but I have, uh. I have faith that my Fey Hammer is gonna be. Oh, of course we miss. No, now he connects on his. 
and the critical hit knocks me out. What is my luck this episode? Please. Please, jeez. Please. What? I don't even know what to say. That was just absolutely unlucky. I missed, and then he connects and crits me. I feel like I would have been able to live that. Bruh. I am so upset right now. You don't even understand. I have two decent Pokemon left. This episode is rough, man. We had a, a tough gym battle, and now we have to battle both bosses? What is even going on here? Let's hope that Happy can do it. That doesn't even do half. Oh, we get a flinch, though, so... I guess that's decent. Please, please die. Oh, my fuck, it has hammer arm, too. Please, please don't kill me. Another critical hit? What is this? What the fuck? Now Happy is dead. Well, ladies and gents, it is looking like it's... It's, uh... It's coming right down to this. All I have left is Dracula. Dracula is my last good Pokemon, and, um... I am... Extremely ups- I'm sad. I am so sad. Why are there so many fucking critical hits? What is even going on here? Oh, I, I, I just thought that would kill. I will just let this thing- we'll let- oh my god. <laughs> I just clicked crunch because I didn't even- I didn't even care at this point. Well, it kills Dracula as well. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I just lost this Nuzlocke. That was, I mean, that was extremely dumb of me for just clicking crunch, but I honestly, I should have acrobatics, obviously. But even then, I don't think it even matters. I don't think it matters because <laughs> there's no way I would have been able to beat the other boss anyway with just, oh, we're we actually able to kill, we're going to pee on this thing. That's right. I would not have been able to beat the other boss with just Dracula. So, uh... Lisquid. What is that? Oh, Jesus, we have not even seen this thing before. Ah, uh, man, that, even that fake out did a bunch. Okay, well, this is a very sad I just have to watch my last Pokemon die. And, uh, it has been... It has been a journey. It is... This was just an extremely unfortunate episode. But that's bound to happen every once in a while. In a, in a game like this especially, when this shit is just honestly pretty damn hard. You, you gotta expect this kind of stuff. We get a crit. Man. I guess we're just gonna Dragon Claw. It really does not matter what I click, because I don't think that we have a chance to win this. Very unfortunately. But, oh, okay. Drop my EXP share, you asshole. I was holding on to that. Maybe we can get, like, a bunch of para hacks. Oh, okay, nope. It's not gonna. Not gonna get paralyzed. Down goes Groot. I am so salty when I lose, when I lose Nuzlocke. I don't... Ugh, I just hate that. I hate this. Fucking... A crit killed every one of my good mons this episode. Like, like... I mean, to be fair, that Fey Hammer was probably going to do a lot of damage to my troll anyways, but, I mean, that was just, like, come on, of course mine had to miss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is looking like this was the last episode of Pokemon Lunar Dark. We hope you excel. Well, guys, um, yeah, I, I, do that, I don't even know what to say. I apologize for the poor performance of just clicking crunch against that thing, but honestly it didn't matter. I don't think we would have gotten very far at all with just Dracula, so... We kind of let him die with the rest of the team, you know? Fucking Captain sinks with his ship. So we're going to go ahead and deposit my dead mons. And uh, so, I did actually have a plan. If I knew that I was going to end up losing this Nuzlocke, my plan was... And hear me out. My plan is to take this series over to Twitch... I do live stream over on twitch.tv, and I was thinking we'll finish off this game in live stream form so you guys can come and kind of watch it live. Uh, rather than playing it Nuzlocke, we'll kind of just be able to, like, you know, take back all my dead mons and at least just see kind of how this ends because we didn't even get to the legendary shenanigans. And uh, that is. That is really bad. I, I honestly really wish that did. I. I wanted to get farther, I, everything in me really wanted to beat this game, but I, I guess I just, 
I didn't have it in me, man. I did not. I was not able to do it. So, <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support throughout this series. I hope you did enjoy, and it may at least maybe my misfortune was in <laughs> entertaining this last episode. But yeah, so like I said, you can go ahead and hit the link in, in the description. It'll take you over to my Twitch channel. And if you do kind of want to see how this game finishes off, um, I will be live streaming this in front of viewers live to kind of see what happens uh, the videos will actually also stay up forever in my video section on there so if you're not able to make it to the live stream when I'm actually live you can still kind of uh, watch the VOD and see how stuff happens so I will see you guys later peace out